to Stuff Works Explained. If you are here for the first time, please consider subscribing to this channel. For the repeat viewers, we thank you for the support. In this video, we'll be giving an update on Julius Nyerere Hydropower Project uh, in Tanzania. The Julius Nyerere Hydropower Project in Tanzania has reached a remarkable milestone with construction as at October 2023 being at 93%. According to parties involved in the project, they say they are happy with the progress, noting that perennial power issues in Tanzania may come to an end with the completion of this dam and hydropower plant. In December 2022, President Suluh uh, Samia of Tanzania presided over the opening ceremony marking the commencement of the water filling uh, milestone which is a critical step uh, towards the envisioned generation of 2115 megawatts of electricity the dam has now been filled to a level of 164.8 cubic uh, meters or 164 0.8 meters, which is equivalent to 14.5 billion cubic meters of water. The volume of water has the potential to generate approximately 47.8% of the entire project uh, power capacity. The Julius Nyerere Hydropower Station is will be the largest in East African community, and uh, the project, which is costing 2.9 billion dollars, uh, is in uh, Rufiji River, which is found in eastern Tanzania. The plant is slated to have an installed capacity of 2,115 megawatts and is capable of producing 5,920 gigawatts of power every year. The generated electricity will be transmitted through a 400 kilovolt high voltage power line to a substation where it will be uh, integrated into the national electricity grid. The 134 meters high concrete dam is expected to create a reservoir lake spanning 100 kilometers in length covering an area of 1,200 square kilometers containing 34 billion cubic meters of water. The project is owned and managed by government own Tanzania Electricity Supply Company, Tanesco, and the project is poised to enhance access to affordability uh, in power and uh, to propel the country to economic growth, attracting investment into the country. This initiative is set to revolutionize Tanzania by providing consistent and reliable supply of electricity for both domestic and industrial usage. The implementation rate of the main dam has reached 100% with the hydropower generation plant as having achieved 80.43 completion rate and this is 91.91% um, for civil works, 75% for electromechanical works. The intake works are now at 100% complete, three tunnels for water passage to the turbine building are completed. The electricity interconnection station is at 99.3%. The four saddle dams for the water reservoir are at 97.4%. The permanent concrete bridge over the Refugee River is complete at 100%. Permanent road facilitating project movement and connectivity rate are at 62%. And the permanent camp for the customer is at 98.3%. Significantly, all project elements have progressed to advance implementation stage with completion of civil works for the dam body amounting to 1.5 million cubic meters. All dam gates have been installed, tested, and are operating efficiently. Intake and tunnel works leading to the turbines are also finished. Work on subsidiary dam is complete uh, using 5.5 million cubic meters of backfill and 350,000 cubic meters of concrete. The main bodies of debris dams, uh, dam 2, 3, and 4, are finished, and as, as, as is the compact concrete dam 1. This demonstrates the high 
than planned implementation rates and high quality work road work above the saddle dam is ongoing and uh, to achieve this uh, milestone a dedicated workforce of 13,000 laborers with 90% of them being locals was mobilized the workforce has so far contributed to 116 million hours of work additionally uh, more than 1,700 heavy equipment have been employed to optimize uh, resources and carry out various tasks including excavation of 9 million cubic meters feeding of more than 6 million cubic meters and casting over 3 million cubic meters of concrete notably project has utilized Aurora compacted concrete RCC and conventional vib vibrating concrete CVC for different construction requirements. Despite encountering uh, numerous uh, problems such as navigating a complex supply chain, especially during the COVID and uh, logistics to reach the project site and maintaining uh, environmental conservation and other risks which are associated to working with the, within a game reserve the project has or the project team has persevered the project team has successfully achieved key milestones throughout the project timeline this include a river diversion milestone in november 2020, 2020 despite uh, the challenges of floods that uh, uh, occurred during this time uh, especially during the diversion tunnel works this milestone, uh, milestone marked the commencement of the main dam works, pouring 2 million cubic meters of RCC over a two-year period. This achievement paved way for the main milestone of the project, which was the reservoir impounding. Simultaneously, they have carried out powerhouse works and compassing excavation activities, totaling 3 million cubic meters and concrete works amounting to 400,000 cubic meters within a two-year time frame. Additionally, the, they have accomplished the installation of nine turbine components. In addition to the uh, hydropower achievement, the contractors have also constructed embarked uh, dams utilizing the impressive fleet of 9,000 equipment and dedicated workforce of 2,500 uh, workers. This included pouring 300,000 cubic meters of concrete works and embankments works of earth and rock fill of 5 million cubic meters for the uh, to be finalized before the reservoir impounding starts ongoing work includes the main structure of the turbine building a crucial unit of the project uh, several works for the turbine assembly building and uh, which are now complete with the installation of three cranes each with a load capacity of four thousand four hundred tons per winch in preparation for the installation of the main turbine units. The installation of the nine turbine is underway along with the installation of 27 transformers, towers, interconnection lines between the turbines, building stations and uh, interconnection stations. The first phase of the contract work is complete and fin finishing of the entire building is in progress including interior and exterior elements. Dredging, dredging work is proceeding at high implementation rate. The main bridge connecting the two banks of the Fiji River, a critical element of the dam project is finished. The bridge with a load capacity of allowing passage of loads up to 300 tons to uh, 200 meters and stands on two columns over 50 meters high above the river service. It is considered Tanzania's largest bridge in terms of road capacity and it's integral to the international road linking Tanzania and Mozambique. It is important to note that U.S. Nyerere hydropower station has not been without controversy. Environmental experts have raised concern about its location with, within the Silas Game Reserve, which is a World Heritage Site. And this, uh, according to environmentalists, threatens uh, and dangers animal species in the area, particularly black rhinoceros and elephants. Despite these challenges, the project has continued to make strides towards completion, with the majority of the work being accomplished. The Tanzanian government remains optimistic about achieving 
its goal of significantly reducing power sh uh, shortages and driving economic growth in the region. So we'll be following to see uh, how the project uh, progresses with the possible completion being uh, in uh, 2024. So thank you for reaching this far. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to this channel. For the repeat viewers, we thank you for the support. Thank you.